Hi guys and welcome back to Finders Beepers It's just see because I started doing that really loud then chilled it down a bit. Then realised. So yeah, we are right in the midst of a Russian community here. And it is a little bit, we're not going up that one, it's the next one. I just told you that like 30 seconds ago. He's got a, a skill for not listening. He acknowledges but just doesn't listen to what I've said. I know this is a bit bouncy, bouncing all over, but we've got to march a little bit because you know what it's like in these little communities. If you're not a face that people recognise. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah, they're all checking you out. And when I say communities, you want to see some of the houses. There's like all these little shitty ones and then one massive big house. Like this one here. Yeah, exactly. So we're on our way to a military base. Golovo. We're in Golovo, yeah. We've been looking forward to Golovo for a long time. But nervous though, aren't we? Very nervous. I am. Because we're... Well, I've always been nervous since I've been in Russia. Yeah. Well, this is a partly used military base, but the bit we're going into isn't used at all, hopefully. So, just to show you what I mean, you've got little, I can't really show you, there's not many, it's just that little broken down one. And then you've got big mansions like that. Huge place. I can't even show you because the fences are so high. It's a massive big place. Right, we've got local dogs going mad turkeys and also this 37 second clip from the airbase at Golovo in Russia was one of the first things we found when we were researching the area it really really got me excited because it looked dead easy to get in now it's just a couple of kids on bikes having a raz round so we thought it can't be that hard how wrong we were make sure you watch the full video on the main channel. I'll put the link down below. I can hear a police car coming. saying earlier on it looks like a spitfire all painted up but i'm sure it can't be but it's like the russian equivalent russian isn't it? equivalent yeah they're trying to make our ideas yeah it's either spitfire or hurricane it looks like i'm not sure which yeah. one yeah never distinguish the difference uh, i don't know but yeah so we've got to be careful around here so i am going to put you back away again put you back away yeah yeah i'm putting them in my pocket i'm going to put you back away is that what you said to your penis <laughs> i'm just going to put you back away just for a little bit longer i'm just going to roll you back up again Laggy band. In a bit. So, over here, you can't really see it because it's absolutely banging it down. You've got quite a lot of sea forts, so that one over there is, is it Alexander? Uh, Alexander, Alexander. Uh, Fort. And that was used as a, it was a plague fort, wasn't it? it was where plague it was, fort? Yeah, they put all the plague people. Didn't know that. In that fort. Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's good. We were gonna go on a speedboat there this morning to all these islands around here. Yeah. But once again, didn't have the time because of everything that's kicked off. So like I've just said to Andy, I'm a little bit gutted that we've not done everything that we wanted to we've, we've missed loads to be fair however if we'd just given up we wouldn't have done any would we i mean we could have just given up at the border and just gone back to telling yeah and, and i think a lot of people would have done because it were hard and tiring and frustrating stressful yeah stressful so expensive that's it so now we're going underneath the water by the looks of things so we've just come over a road that runs above it and now we're going underneath it now once again I apologise for the rain, it seems to be getting worse, but look at this tower next to us. It's in the clouds at the top. That's how high it is. It's absolutely massive. Well, if it's, it can't be as tall as the shard, can it? Because I think the shard's 
shark pretty tall. Like. It's one of the biggest in Europe, or the biggest in Europe in the shark, but look at it. Look at that. What a building. The bottom's quite impressive. Yeah. Right, so we're just making our way back to the border in our Uber. And it is absolutely banging it down with snow. It's settling at the sides of the road. It's horrendous, to be fair. Now, you can't even see Andy. I can't even show you Andy. He's sat next to me anyway. He's not dead. Not yet. No, not yet. But we might be in about half an hour. Yeah. It's not too bad on this main road, but it is settling at the edges. And the longer we go, the worse it seems to get as well. So, fingers crossed we make it to the border. Because we're in an Uber. We're in an Uber going 90 miles. Surprisingly though, that's only cost us 30 pounds. I've literally been from Sheffield to Barnsley and spent as much as that. So to go 90 miles is crazy. Right, so it is one o'clock in the morning. We've been here for 25 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. Um, and we've been refused entry back into Estonia. Now the reason for that, we hadn't done anything naughty or anything. We literally, we got here, we would have been here on time because our visas ran out at midnight and we would have been here on time, but a soldier stopped the Uber taxi that we were in from going any further checked all our details checked his details he said go on you can go let us go but because of that we were late um, so now we are wandering the streets of Russia trying to find a hotel at one o'clock in the morning so uh, it's minus five according to the guy the uber that we got out of it's minus five and I'm wearing shorts as usual to be fair I'm not even really that cold not like we were the other day. No. But there's no... I've got cold a bit in my head, in my hand. Yeah. And they're not really, really cold. It's the, it's the wind. The wind's not there, isn't it? So... Yeah. But anyway, we're going to go and try and find this hotel that we've been told about. I read up on what happens if you overstay your visa. And there's a possibility you have to stay here for a week. However, we spoke to the woman on the desk. And she said we have to pay a small fine. We looked at the small fine. It's £2.50 each, but we can't pay it till 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. When the bank's open. When the bank's open. And it's 1 o'clock. So it's either waiting 8 hours in minus 5 because they won't let us stay in the building, or going and finding a hotel, and there is three of them, all of which look just equally as shit. So, but I'll take at least, anything. At least it'll be warm. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. Managed to get Andy in a room. Oh, I don't know why, just you in a room. <laughs> we managed, managed to get me in a room. Get a room. <laughs> we are in a room in, obviously in Russia. Russia again. You c <laughs> Not this, this is becoming another fucking Glasgow. It in because you're getting to sleep. You sort, look, do I sort you out? Do I make sure you're fine? Don't you dare sort me out. <laughs> I'm too tired. No, but we're in good, how good spirits are we in though? Seriously, to see what's this going stupid on. Stupid spirits. What are you doing? We've got a big massive cut there. For you again. <laughs> with nails. You can on my back. On my bum. <laughs> right. Oh my god, look at this artwork. It's mint. It's not. It's just stupidity. Right, I don't want to see you in your pants. You've see... seen me in my pants for all, all weekend. I've seen it too much. I'm going to censor it. Look, people think you're actually naked now. You can't actually tell you've got pants on. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Yeah. I've got green paint on my hand, cuts on my hand, chunks out, chunks of mud on my knee. And look, look at that. <laughs> right, we will leave that there. No. Oh, that's a good tattoo. When did you have that one done? Which one? This one here. Belting, I think. Yeah, mint. Oh. Can I do that? No, no. 
Nobody needs to see this, right? I'm getting in my bed. Right. So apparently, Andy doesn't snow. What a load of shit. It was going on at me for snoring. Wow. Right, so we've had quite a good night's sleep in this place. To say we've not had very long in here, it's not been bad, has it, really? No, at least there's a bit of a respite from what we have been doing. Yeah, I feel quite refreshed. Breakfast's a bit odd, not going to lie. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's the bacon that's, that's confusing me, to be fair. Two eggs, a bit of... I don't know if it's even cooked, that, and I don't eat... I don't like cooked... Tomorrow anyway, so that's quite a bonus. Smallest piece of bacon I've ever it's seen. Not even that. <laughs> that's just fat. It's not even a rasher. I'll eat it. You can eat it. I'll just have me egg and sausage. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You'll eat you'll eat anything. Oh god, double. Double bacon. Double bacon. I don't know if double I can bacon. eat all that. That's already up in there. Tomato sauce in it. Of some sort, some variety, but it's looking well. At least it's not banging down. Look, it's got like beans. Oh, it was beans. Yeah, that's beans. <laughs> that's beans. I don't eat that either. Oh, I will. Why won't you eat beans? They're probably not beans. They're beans. You know, I got myself all excited this morning about a oh. nice cooked breakfast. <laughs> right, it's free. We're getting it for nothing. Oh, sh sugar. You don't get anything for nothing. Oh. Looking nice outside anyway, weather wise. Um, so this place has cost us nineteen pounds for two nights for, well for a night each for us to stay and two breakfasts. So I ain't moaning at all. You're enjoying a bit of sausage in your room. A bit of cold sausage. Right, stop moaning. Get it eaten. It's a free breakfast. We'll go and get something else somewhere else if you really want some. I'm expecting like full English downstairs. Bacon, egg, sausage, beans, mushrooms, fried bread, bit of black pudding. This is what I have to put up with. Just be happy you've got food. <laughs> I've got food. And that you haven't had to stay out in minus five all night. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let's eat. Right, so we're just on our way to the border again, carrying our bags. It's uh, it's actually really nice weather over this side of the border, isn't it? But, but not where we're going. It's really foggy and misty, literally at the other side of the border. It's fine over here. Let's see if I can show you. Okay. Blue skies and sun. This way, grey and drab. So I'm hoping it's going to cheer itself up. You can see the castle over in the distance, though, on the um, Estonian side. And then the castle for Russia is just behind this tower block here. So it's uh, it's quite. Imp oh no! In fact, that's on this that's on this side, isn't it? Side, yeah. yeah, it's just the other side where it's in the mist. You can't quite see it. There's the tower for uh, the other one. So yeah, you can just see on these blue signs up here. It says international border ahead. Let's hope they let us through this time, eh? Hopefully. Yeah, it'd be good. Right, we're continuing to have issues. So <laughs> I've left Andy behind. I don't mean I've come across the border and left him behind. I mean, we are now on, well, I'm on my fourth trip up this hill. So basically, what we've got to do is we've got a, a piece of paper, we've got a bank account that we have to send, put some money into uh, and get a receipt to say we've done that to pay the fine. The bank's shut, um, but there is cash machines that you can do it through apparently. So first of all, this morning we walked down here they told us we had to walk up to the bank again. Bearing in mind it's about three quarters of a mile or a mile difference up a big hill. So I walked back up to that, paid, we went to pay the money, bank was shut. Cash machines there, didn't think we could pay it that way. Walked back down to the bank, back down here again. And now I'm on my way back up again to pay this uh, through the cash machine. So it is a little bit of a fast, as you can see it's a beautiful day, so it doesn't matter so much. Um, We've got up nice and early anyway, so hopefully we're not going to lose too much of the day. We've got quite an exciting afternoon if we can get back to Tallinn. If we can't, then we make the most of it, don't we? We'll do whatever we can. 
So, like I said, it's an adventure. I, me and Andy, I think, I think Andy can be a bit negative at times, but not. I don't mean in a nasty way. I mean, I think he can get himself quite down about stuff and worried. And I'm sort of a bit more of an experienced traveller than him. I've been to loads of places and I've, I've been by myself as well. So I think working together, he's got the sensible head on him. So he makes sure that I do what I'm supposed to be doing. But I'm the one that's quite good at quick thinking, finding ways around things. And it seems to be working so far. At the end of the day, yeah, we're stuck again, but we'll get past it. I'm not bothered. So let's see if this bank thing works now anyway. Right, an hour later and I'm just coming out of the bank and I'm going the wrong way. So I better go this way. Um, so I've had a right nightmare. So basically the bank machines that we had to pay into are in Russian, which you'd expect, but there's no option for English, which I'm not one of these people that feel that when you come abroad, everybody should speak your language. That's not how it should be. We should sort something out. It should be down to us, not them. So basically, I've downloaded a couple of apps which have just literally just saved our lives. Um, one of which you can point at the screen and it automatically translates it into English for you. Um, and also the second one where, and I downloaded this one yesterday to be fair, but um, you press on it, you speak into it, uh, they, it gets translated into Russian and then they press the button and they speak back into it. Absolutely amazing, it's helped so much. So basically, I was filling it in. I was putting the details in that I presumed were right. Um, I worked out with another guy, a guy came and helped me. Um, even he struggled. We spent a good 25 minutes, me and him, trying to work it out. He didn't speak English, I didn't speak Russian, but we got there eventually. Um, but anyway, end comes to ends. We've got it sorted. I've got what I need, the paperwork I need to get it sorted out. And hopefully, we're now gonna be able to cross the Russian border. If not, that was the last of my Russian cash. We have got no more cash at all. It doesn't accept Andy's card. Um, if you look, watch the live stream, I lost my debit card before we came out. So we've been having to transfer money into Andy's card. So, bit of a nightmare, but we're getting there get in there just about right the, the guard has brought us out here he's just gone back for our passports hopefully we're getting sorted at last we've handed everything in we need to hand in hopefully we can't cope with this anymore oh, i don't mind it's fine it's all like i say an experience but i get it obviously we'd rather be doing other things but something to look back on to so I'm guessing he's taking us down to the building we were in yesterday, or whenever it was, with the coach, the day before yesterday. Yeah, but why would we go down there? That's the exit. Because it's all the customs checking and filling in of forms, innit? So I'm guessing it's that. We'll see anyway. We'll find out in a minute. I, I've got to stop filming because I'm not really supposed to be filming in here anyway. So we are now in a detention centre. We've been stopped from crossing the border and Andy's playing Tetris. Gotta be careful though, because we'll get caught on the camera in here and we're in trouble. And Not in enough, enough trouble as it is. I know. How are you getting on? Um, oh, it's the weirdest game of Tetris I've ever seen. Usually dropped from the top. I know, it's just weird this our game. Hmm. <laughs> My best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies How it's gonna stay In the fight with you Just thinking we would do this Until we couldn't do it Each and every heart Look what we've got And look what he's got Bad boys So we're gonna be shooting these um, we've got AK-47, we've got a Smith & Wesson 44 calibre. What else we got? Uh, um, pump action shotgun. Glock. Glock. 
tactical and another one that I can't remember what it is. Uh, but either way, I'm excited for this. Are you excited? Yeah. So let's get it done. We are just off for some food in Tallinn. Uh, we're back in Estonia and look at this place. So this is the prison. We have tried to get in here. You might have already seen it because I might have put it in this if we haven't got in. But this was a gulag. Was one of the world, world, not world's worst prisons, but one of the Soviet Union's worst pri yes. prisons. If you're in here, forget it. You're yeah. dead. There's uh, a hanging room in there as well. It's a shame we couldn't get in. I know. Oh, look, there's a big boat down there. Look at the sky. It was nicer than this a minute ago, actually. We've already been down here once for yeah, another video. Was... It's lovely down here, though. It's lovely it and quiet and peaceful. Yeah. And then you hear the... I like birds oh, making no, noises. Trap door, the hanging room. <laughs> I'm still using it. That's why you can't get in. Right, so just... Like I said, there's a couple of boats over there. Big grey one, I'm presuming, is some sort of... Navy frigate. Yeah. Pardon? Oh, it's got lights on. Frigate? Navy frigate. I know what a frigate is, but it sounds rude. Like frigging in the rigging. Frigging in the rigging, Costas. What the hell's to do? I don't know what you're saying. It is. Was it Sex Pistols? What I don't know. I've never heard it in my life before. Or well, somebody like that from the 80s, anyway. So the boat in the background behind Andy's big eared, which is quite red still and brown, brownie red. You've got like a ridged skull, like a line. That, look, look you know where it's from? What? Ed set at work. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is. Oh, it is. Honestly, God, that's where it sits. There. Oh dear. I'm going to sew on. So yeah, that's the um, ferry coming over from Helsinki. It's a two hour ferry, that one. But oh, good. Two hour ferry crossing. Yeah. It's, what do you mean it's a two? I don't mean it's like expires after two hours and sinks. <laughs> it sinks after two hours. <laughs> but look, another view of the prison. Fantastic place. I'm so gutted we've not got in as of yet. Those windows up there look new though. Those two in the middle. Those two, yeah. Definitely do. Well, they, they open it up. They, oh, they're going to be opening up as a visitor centre quite soon, yeah. apparently. We were just hoping to get in before that, but we're probably never going to get in ever. But anyway, we're going off to eat some bear now, aren't we? Yeah, grills. No. Now we're going to grill the bear. Oh yeah, that's that's about right. Come on then, let's go. Get off. Got a bit of a march going on here, haven't we? We have. Need some food. <laughs> so over there in the background is Linna Hall. That is where we went on the first on the main channel to. Uh, Blaggers Convention. Yes, we blagged our way in. It's a monstrosity, to be fair. It's awful looking, isn't it? <laughs> it's not very attractive, is it? No. <laughs> to be fair. But even for the Olympics, you thought they were smart. They up a bit. But it's it's sort of stereotypical Soviet, isn't it? Square, dull. Yeah. Fat. Quite angular, as well. But anyway. Not Merkel. <laughs> Idiot. Right, so uh, we're just he heading up into the old town, <coughs> which is where the big spiky bit is, on the church. I know it's not technically called the big spiky bit, it's a spire. It's not technically called a gherkin in London, but... Oh well, yeah, but people call people it that. People call it it, so we call it the spiky bit. Yep, that sounds good to me. Spiky bit of Tallinn. Right, so that's the tram that buzzes around the city. You've got buildings with massive lights on them. But then right next to it, got the old town. It's, we're just saying it's quite a contrast, really, isn't it? Diversive. Diver yeah, diversive? Diverse, not diversity. Yeah, that's. Diversive. It's oh. a word. Is it? Yeah, you might not know, but we do have words longer Would than two syllables. Would it not just be diverse? No, it's diversive. Oh, I don't know if I believe you with that one. Well, believe me or not, I don't care. I care. farted and stings. Oh, God, it does as well. And you know what? The different smells every time. It's quite diverse. So, right. <laughs> Diversity bitty. Diversity bitty today. Yeah. Yeah, because you're saying you've got the contrast between old, decrepit, and falling down or burnt. Yeah. To 
that beautiful old and that beautiful and old and then you've got modern technology buildings like that one over there i do you're right so let's head up into well, the old massive, town but they are actually rejuvenating it and making it into like a yuppie sort i'm sort of really pleased town. about that i think if it stays why does it say bunker there that's weird there's a big bunker that says bunker but I think if they if they keep the flights cheap yeah then it will become somewhere loads of people from the UK will come to it's touristy because you do have um, a lot liners of Americans come in. though you get Americans yeah the cruisers the cruise liners drop off here yeah but that's money isn't it that's the thing that's the money although is it a bad thing if everybody comes does no. it get ruined no but does it get too tourist day is that what that's what i mean it's poor country so i think they deserve to have a bit of well yeah true a bit of tourism well, big plaque up there so we'll head up into the old town anyway and we'll see you up there about old town so this old town and old trout because she just walked past that's just a bit harsh i won't say she's an old trout you're an horrible man sometimes i know we're just walking through the main square down to old Hansa. This guy's talking in my ear really, really loud. I don't know what he was saying, but. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I think you've said that more times than ever. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, yeah, old Hansa shop is where we're going. And here it is. Oh, that's the back door, though. It even says the back door on it just to help us out. Good. I always like going in the back door. Oh, God. So let's go and get ourselves in here. Hopefully, they're still serving. Thank you. All right, so it is a very medieval type place. It's very dark as well. I like it. But it's boiling just to the light because I can't see you. Coming to light. <laughs> so yeah, we we're, we're in. It's very hard to show you, but it's a medieval style restaurant. It's good though, isn't it? Really weird. I like it. Right, I'm absolutely sweating. I'm so warm compared to the last couple of days. It's it's really warm. So if you look on the wall behind me, you've got all the proper medieval painted walls. Um, I, I don't want to show people, like I said, it's not really fair, but it is a wonderful place. No, they're all candles, every single one. Even the, even the ones up on the roof, I'll just show you. Just up there, as you can see, they are actual real candles as well. They're not your fake, fake ones just put on for, for show. They are actually real. Imagine lighting them every night. Yeah. You're right, Payne. You just blowing them out outside, we're going to come in, there's about 400 outside. Really? Yeah. Ridiculous. That's crazy. Right. It's got with like a dancer thing, it puts them on top, and it was the old, yeah. the old, olden times. That just, it was the norm back then, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I like doing? This is, this is the child in me. I love it. You want to get a bit of wax on your fingers? Oh. Quickly turning the light on just to show you. So that's my bear steak. That is, what did we say, sweet, that was uh, ginger, ginger sweet, um, some sort of cheese cakey things, yep. pickles, obviously, berries, uh, yeah, cranberries, is that barley, similar to barley, you said, wouldn't it? Yep. Then you've got your, oh, ow, burning myself on candle. Then we've got elk steak, elk another, flakes. it looks nice, that, uh, sauerkraut. Uh, half a tree, uh, some conifer, and a similar sort of thing to myself. So, looking forward to it? Yeah. I'll let you get on with it then. We don't want to watch you eat it. Oh, in fact, you can try a bit. And then we will. Uh, and I've actually gone for medium rare. Which is not like you. It's not like me. I normally have it medium well. So, we're going for. So, I'm going for this chef's recommendation. Pushing boundaries. Oh, it looks good. Get the sauce on there. Sauce. Mm. Nice. So tender. 
that's the best bit about medium rare or anything more than that. That has just melted in my mouth, it's gone. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Right, so I'm just going to go straight in for the bear. We're going to try a bit of bear. Bear's something that I have wanted to try for ages now. It is the consistency of what, how I thought it. It's very, very rough and tough, like a bear would be. So, a bit of uh, cranberry on it, and away we go. You know what? When I first cut through that, it looked like it was going to be dry. And it's, it's not. It's not at all. Like I said, look, look at that. That looks dry, and it couldn't be more from that. It's, it's wonderful, fantastic. Right, let's get on with this. Stop filming and eat us food. Right, guys. So I've just come into the toilet. So I need to show you. Look at this. Let's wash your hands. These are the toilets. It's absolutely brilliant. Look at that. That is amazing. What a little place this is. You literally are sitting on the throne. It's just like a throne. That is unbelievable. Right, I'm going for a piss now. Go for it. Drink your beer. Check the beer up. That's better, that's better. Go for it. Oh, I'll give it some. Yeah, yeah. English. English. No. Well, two minutes, we're only just, just video, video. 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 video in us. Just video, video in us? No, no, it's the... Yeah, that is just filming. That? Yes, yeah. That's going in. Little old woman's face in there, definitely going in. Uh -huh. Bollocks. Go, run, just run. Put some force into it, kick your legs. That'll do. So it's the last day in Tallinn and we are in a bit of a beer house. Um, we've got rid of the car now, so we don't need to worry about driving. So that's why we're on the beer. Nice small beers. What a litre. Yep. What we've got here is uh, crispy pig's ears. And calamari and we've got a couple of pizzas on the way as well haven't we bad pizzas oh good so we uh, you what should be good mm, they're filling needs to be filling people going all day well, that's it because i'm out of money now i'm done i've got some pigs here sticking me through <laughs> so, so the pizzas have come and my god they're nice happy with that yeah how can you not be happy with that exactly we fill an old lot in it that grease tastic as well, which is perfect. Yeah, amazing. Don't know why we need bread, like, but I think we've got enough. To be fair, no stodginess. Yeah. Right. So we're at the airport on our way home, and the adventure is over. To be fair, we've it's been a funny one, hasn't it? It's been a funny old game. We. Old game. We've gained things and lost things. So we've lost the amount of explores that we wanted to do. We've lost a hell of a lot. A lot. We've got some really good ones planned, but because of the whole Russia problems times two, on the way yeah. in and the way out, it's caused so many problems. 
The thing that I've mainly gained is this massive spot on my nose. I don't know what's going on there. It's like I'm growing an extra nose. You've got a head on your nose. I've become that close to Norway and Finland and stuff. I'm becoming Rudolph. In fact, is it because we ate an elk? That's it. I'm... You didn't. I did. I had some of yours. And I had some elk built on. Oh, you did, didn't you? Yes, I certainly did. Have you still got that? You have. <coughs> I think so. You just probably illegally brought it through the... Probably not. Whoops. Whoops. Well, at least we've got something to chew on later. Anyway. I don't care. I'm just going to go to sleep. Yeah. Because when we get back over to the UK, we've got four hours drive. So... Three and a half. Three and a half. Four. Still long enough. Yeah, exactly. It's three o'clock in the morning by the time we get home. Yeah. And then I've got to take our friends to nursery at night. No, don't do it. I've got to. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. <laughs> That's what you always say, but then you always end up doing everything you want to do. You'd have been in bed all day. Yeah. Right, so that is us off. Thank you for watching. It's been brilliant. We've, the, the experiences we've gained from it and stuff that people don't the know. The lessons that we've learned. Yeah, it's not. Some of the things that people, oh, it's dead easy to get into Russia. Yeah, you can do it. No, it's not. Yeah, some people Read told us we, we need, didn't even need a visa. We could have just gone in. <laughs> Load of bollocks. Literally, we had a visa and we still couldn't get in. Um, but... Yeah, we've got a got in yeah we got in but i mean we couldn't get in because of the car because of the car but and then if you are late even by half an hour like we were half an hour cost us 15 hours 16 hours in fact we lost probably nearly two days out of the whole thing by the time we were detained by the time we got back into estonia we're talking two three two o'clock in the afternoon back time we set off again then we had to travel three hours to get back to to tell him well it was six o'clock by the six time o'clock, yeah so we lost two days so no, is what it is. You expect these things, especially with the countries like Estonia and, and Russia. It's just one of those things. We'll have big, bigger, better explorers next year. And you know what? There's the places we've been and the things we've done. Loved it. Things I wouldn't change seen, it. Things we've done. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't change it. To be fair. I wouldn't. St. Petersburg was amazing. Amazing. Go to St. St. Petersburg definitely. 100%. Yeah. Let's go for the weekend. Fly there. Fly straight there. Don't drive. Right. That's us off. I'll see you later.